Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our shoulders. So straight away I am going to start with my greatest stretch. 5 repetitions on each side ensuring that my body opens up for today's workouts. It hardly takes a minute or two so I recommend you do it every day pre-workout. The more consistency you get here the more better you feel with the stretch the more activation you get in your muscles. I am going to speed up the video because I have been doing this every day and by now everyone who is watching my videos know how to do this exercise. It's been almost 43 days now so it's pretty simple stretch. We do it 5 times each side making sure we get an entire opening of our upper back, our legs, our chest, our shoulders. Great movement. For any reason if you are not able to do this during your workout you can do it at any time of your day after waking up or before going to sleep. Now for my second work, I am going to do a stability drill for my shoulder. It is simple, you lean forward, touch the ground with your hands and crawl forward and then slowly crawl back up into a standing position. This gives a compression to your shoulders and if there is any kind of instability, it would help in engaging or firing up all the muscles which would then be properly primed up for all our presses. A pretty simple drill. I am going to again speed up the video because it's pretty easy and self explanatory as you can see. Go slow if you are unable to do it from a very far distance. You can start at a shorter distance. You can also take support if required. Now I am going to squat down deep. This we do on a regular basis. Simple lean forward by pushing your glutes as far behind as possible and then squat. Now for my next stability drill I am going to do an elastic band around my wrist and then press up. At, while pressing up I am going to hold at different points for 5 seconds to see if there is any kind of instability. If there is I would feel that particular side working a lot more to ensure that my hands stay in position. At this point my left was feeling a little bit more my left was do I felt my left was doing a little bit more work so it might be the uh, case with you also or it might be the right side whichever side is dominant you you might not feel that much so a great drill to firstly identify if there is any kind of uh, stability issues and secondly to also strengthen and reinforce that side I have used a very light band and a light band just to go through the range of motion again 5 repetitions holding at different points for 5-5 five, five seconds making sure my back is completely ready for my shoulder presses. I do definitely recommend investing in these bands these are quite helpful these are hardly cost 200 to 300 bucks but quite helpful in terms of doing these stability drills. Now for my next mobility drill I am going to do the back raises with ray delt raises. Now we have done this previously as a warm up. Today I am also going to take them to other ranges of motion. Firstly we are going to do the simple raises wherein we try to push as much blood into our ray delt as possible by raising our arms behind our uh, back or be beyond our midline of our body. Now you can do this particular drill by lying down on the floor also. I was just laying down on the bench to get a little bit of extra stretch but otherwise it's not required. Now as you see I turn the plates facing down and then press up a couple of times to get a little bit of internal and external rotation in the same moment. I realized I'm not able to show you properly how I'm doing this so I'm going to now shift the camera angle a little bit so you can see clearly what I'm trying to do. This time I'm going to do it without weights so you can also do it without weights. Just raise your arms up then turn them on to their sides, palms facing down. I just knocked my camera there. And then press up. If there is any kind of instability, that side you would definitely feel working a lot more. So it's a good exercise to ensure that side is ready now for our shoulder movements. You can do 5 to 6 repetitions, hold at different points. If any point you feel that that particular area or one side is not working properly or the other side is not working properly or if there is both sides are struggling to hold that area you can hold there first five seconds do five to six repetitions before starting our exercise 
so let's begin with our first exercise for my first exercise today i'm going to work on my ray delts uh, first by doing single hand flies so here i have a ray delt fly machine so i'm using that if you want you can do this on the cable uh, crossover machine also but this setup is pretty easy it doesn't take much time to set myself in a proper position because the uh, equipment is already set as per our human anatomy so i'm going to use that to my advantage simply lean forward push your glutes a little bit back so that you get extra bit of uh, range and then keeping the uh, bar the holding bar in line with your shoulder just press back and try to adjust the angle a little bit so that you feel maximum amount of ray delt work i don't want your traps to work a lot more because this particular exercise will also trigger your mid trapezium so we don't want them working a lot we want our ray delts to work a lot so if you need just adjust the angle a little bit the ray delt is just uh, behind your armpit area just that spot wherein you start feeling the squeeze and the contractions so if you feel it just under your neck or in the middle area of your uh, upper back that means your traps are working really hard so try to decrease the weight a little bit and focus on the ray delt I have done three sets of it, 12 repetitions. I have only taken 30 seconds in between sets because when one arm was working, the other arm was already resting. So that's almost 60 seconds of rest for each arm. Make sure you lean a little bit forward. You seat, uh, you don't sit just uh, with the backrest. You sit back. So here you can see in the side angle how I am sitting. I am just I have just pushed my glutes a little bit back so that I can lean forward, put my head in a forward position and then push the bar behind my body as much as possible trying to make sure that my ray delts are the ones which are making the uh, contractions happen or move the weight pretty simple exercise it's just that you need to uh, focus on the muscles which are working at any point if you feel your traps are kicking in either change the angle a little bit in terms of the seat height or decrease the weight because usually when the weight is too heavy is when other muscles start contributing in terms of moving your hand to range of motion because your brain is telling to move the arm so all the muscles will try to pitch in to move the arm but we want only few muscles to do the job so try to focus more if you have a partner you can help ask your partner to keep uh, you know just touching the area give you that feedback that okay this muscle this muscle have to work so that's one way to do it. If you don't have a partner, just take one, one set to figure out the angle. For me, this is the best way. I got a lot of ray delt activation with a very light weight. You don't also have to extremely, uh, you don't have to load it extremely high. Now for my second exercise, I'm going to do the uh, machine based overhead press because I don't want to you know again go change the setup put a barbell up i just i was running short on time so this was readily available but otherwise you can do it on a barbell or on a dumbbell it's just a simple overhead press i have done three sets of it 12 repetitions with a challenging weight i since this is an equipment based exercise so i put almost 60 percent of my body weight to press over my head which was quite a challenging amount of weight for me you can try to also punch it up as much as possible if you also ha do have this particular equipment at your disposal but if you're doing it with dumbbells take the weight which is challenging enough because their stability is a lot more in play so for my next exercise i have introduced a new variation for my friend raises which were amazing so what i have done is i have placed an inclined bench at 45 degree angle in front of a cable crossover machine and with both my arms gripping the uh, cable crossovers uh, sorry the cables i started doing the front raises while keeping my palms facing up now i can't really explain you through the video the amount of contraction and the stretch i got on my front delts those were amazing so i would recommend you to try this out if you have this particular equipment at your disposal great amount of work it felt like an entire shoulder workout in one set but well we have to do three sets and with 12 repetitions that's always our target or maybe even four sets 
if you really like it sometimes when i like an exercise i try to go one more set extra just to get that extra bit of work done but three sets is fine uh, take about 60 seconds break even 90 seconds if you feel your shoulders are really tired because this exercise does put that front delt at a great amount of stretch when in the first rep you might feel a little bit of bicep activation because you're just bringing the cable forward so the biceps might get a bit activated but from the second rep it's all your shoulders and every time you go back the front delt is getting stretched at a maximum angle and then from there when you initiate the movement till just above your stomach and chest your shoulder is working really hard after that the contraction decreases a little bit because the strength curve is lost the tension is lost but again as you start lowering down your shoulder starts stretching back again so great exercise in terms of contractions and stretches i was working really hard here trying to even push a bit of weight i'm going to do this exercise a lot more going forward with the amount of activation i got so for my next exercise i'm going to do our staple face pulls again make sure that you stand as far behind as possible to maintain the tension in the cable while even when your arms are way forward here i'm using two rope attachments but it's not necessary if you have them use them otherwise you can just do it with one make sure your wrist are the ones which are driving the motion so you want to get your wrist as far behind as possible not your elbows so if you, if possible take your wrist as far behind as possible to get the maximum amount of contraction in your upper back i've just done two sets of it now a little bit of core work again 50 repetitions 25 25 on each side spins so i'm going to speed up this video we have done this now we have we'll be doing this on a regular basis to get that oblique work done every day now you can there are multiple ways you can do oblique work where you can start loading it i prefer this one because it's a bit simple easy to do and easy to start off with and if you're someone like me who is holding a lot of fat still in your tummy region this is a proper or a ideal exercise to start priming you for loading exercises so that we go through the range of motion we get the amount of uh, mobility and then we can start loading it in the future exercise days so and that's it we are done with this particular one make sure you get 50 repetitions at least both sides included because it's an unloaded exercise the next bit i'm going to do the vertical hangs again i'm going to speed up the video because it's pretty boring to just watch someone hanging there unless you get a price for that uh, so uh, spoiler is that i was able to manage about 65 to 70 seconds here so still good not so good my target is 100 seconds and if i get there i'll keep doing it again we keep doing vertical hangs as much as possible on a regular basis for my decompression we have done this previously also we are done with all our exercises and our shoulder workouts we'll do two sets 10 circles of each hand just lean forward drop your shoulder feel that ball and socket coming uh, the ball coming out of the socket and start making circles this will release any tension in the shoulder after all that uh, compressions and that's it for today thank you so much for joining me if you like the video if you like the workout please do drop a like if you have any feedback please do drop a comment if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe that gives me a lot of uh, positive feedback otherwise i hope this workout has been as efficient as it was for me especially that front raises which were a fire in my shoulders i felt a great amount of pump so yes that's it for today thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you in the next video